Well, I gave in. I am a dark mode guy after all, and the only program that I use regularly that doesn't have it built in is Google Sheets. So let's do something about that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create clickable icons as well as this drop down menu to create your own dark mode and any other style mode that you so choose. So let's do it. Hey, my name is Eamon. I make coding and spreadsheet tutorials like this on the regular. I hope that you will get some value from it. Please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. Okay. Once we're in apps script, we need to do just two real things. We need to make a dark mode and then we can copy and paste that for other modes and just change the colors and the style, stuff like that. Then we need to create a menu whereby we can actually make this thing run inside of our spreadsheet. So dark mode first, we start all of our functions here in Google Apps Script with the name function and then the name of our function. In this case, I'm named dark mode. It's open and close parentheses because it doesn't accept any arguments, meaning we just want it to run. We don't need to tell it any other information. Then all we're using are built-in methods. So spreadsheet app.getActive, that gets the active sheet that we're in. What are the sheets? That's these tabs. So here's sheet one. Uh, if I made a new one, there's sheet two. So whatever sheet that we are on is our active sheet. Then we do dot get range. And we, we actually have to specify, because I'm not going to make this super complicated, the range that we want to select. So a normal Google Sheet opens up and it's got columns A through Z and then rows 1 through 1,000. So I'm just selecting A1 through column Z, and that'll select all the rows in column Z. Now, if you said, hey, let's do AZ, then it will actually create columns all the way through AA through AZ to uh, be able to get that range. Uh, but we're just going to stick with what out of the gate is there. Okay, the first thing then we want to do is set the background color. And there's a method for that, set background. Now, if you notice, I, I've got this on a new line. This is just for readability. This could all be on one line. This is all one uh, method call using all these different dot notations. But I've got it on new lines just because it makes it easier to read. Next thing, we want to set the font color. Now, for both of these, you can either use the hex code or the name of the color. And I've showed you an example of both and how I've written these. After that, this is overkill, but I'm gonna set the font family primarily because we can use Google Sans, which is a Google proprietary font, even though it's not in our regular list of selectable Google fonts. You can use any of the Google fonts that are available. Uh, this one though, you have to either copy and paste something from one of Google's sites that's using this into a spreadsheet or set it as a font family here to be able to use this, what I think is a pretty nice Google font. At any rate, the next one is set border. Now this has a lot of different options, true false options. This is basically saying which borders you wanna set, uh, top, bottom, left, right, and then vertical and horizontal. I think I've got the order wrong when I just set it, but that's what all these are. And I'm just setting horizontal and vertical borders to true and the other ones to false. I'm setting the color. Again, I'm using here the hex code. And then we have to, if we wanna change the style, like if we wanted this to be dashed, this is another style you can use. We have to use this enum attribute, which is an enumeration of the element attributes, as you can see here. At any rate, you've gotta use it in this way to change this from solid or thick or dashed or whatever you want. Okay, and that's basically how we set a dark mode. Now, I've set these other modes just one at a time using different background and font color pairings. I've actually got them all using this solid. Let's, uh, let's change like synth mode to dashed so I can show you what dashed looks like in a moment. Now up here, we also need to create an on open function. Now this is using the get UI method that's built into the spreadsheet app class. And this is creating the menu. Again, most of these are self-explanatory in the title, but this creates a menu and we're calling it style, as you can see right there. And then we're just adding items to it. 
each of these items is whatever we want it to be listed as in the menu. So I've got dark in the menu and then whatever function needs to run when we click it listed next. So that's the dark mode function. I've done that for each of the items for each of the styles that I've created. And then you do this add to UI method, which actually adds it to the UI, which is why we can see it now right here. And let me show you what that synth dash line, you can now see that when we click that, we've got the dashed border lines. Okay, one last thing, I've got some icons in here that will do the same thing. This runs each of the modes, runs each of the functions. You can do this with any image. You can draw an image, you can import an in image, you can copy paste an image. But if you see right here, there's these three little dots, this hamburger menu type of thing. You can assign a script to it, and in here you write the name of the script just like we did over there in the menu creation in the app script. You don't have any parentheses, you just have the name of the function. And that's it, that's how you add these function calls to these buttons or you make makeshift buttons out of them. Hope that's helpful for you. Hey, reminder, if this was, if you liked it, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you have a great one, you're awesome, bye. enumeration enum emulula what is this enum border style it's an attribute right Ch -ch -ch -ch. enum attribute there it is